Hi, what's up? So this is Kemro from Daily Space. In this channel, I'm broadcasting some news about the business, space business, and technology and stuff. So if you are starting your day and with listening to this kind of space news, and if you got interested, please go to the link down in below to get some more details. So uh, today is 2024 March 31st on Sunday. So just I'm just gonna start the, the headline today. So I have few uh, two headlines here today. Uh, one is a sky perfect JSAT hunting for more early stage space opportunities. So this is some kind of Japanese uh, investors, which is investing in some space startups. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mention a little bit about like some growing uh, Japanese startup uh, in a second. So the second one is a SpaceX. Uh, they will do the some launch. Actually, they did one launch and then another is coming right after like I mean coming now uh, on Saturday March 30th uh, 5.52 p.m. Eastern Time Falcon 9 launched the Eostat 636D mission and the next coming up one is the Starlink mission so oh this is already going on so uh, I'm gonna probably just broadcast a little bit about it so let's begin with the Sky Perfect JSAT uh, Sky Perfect uh, Sky Perfect Jets are hunting for more early stage space opportunities, which is uh, Japan's flagship satellite operator intends to invest around 66, 66 million USD in space related startup and venture funds at home and ab abroad over the ne next six years. Sky Perfect Jets had said March 28th that the investment plan is part of the broader commitment uh, announced in uh, 2022 to invest 150 billion yen which is 991 million US dollars by the end of the decades in the new technology and expanding its presence in its space industry. The operator has uh, provided regional broadcast and TV services for much of it, uh, more than 30 year history and currently has 17 satellites in geo geostationary fleet. So in, in 2019, the company began expanding into space-based intelligence services, leading it to invest IQPS, the QPS uh, lab, what we, that's what we call, a Japanese venture developing a synthetic aperture radar, SAR, constellation. Earlier this year, Sky Perfect JSA announced the creation of startup uh, that would use an orbit laser to remove space junk. Sky Perfect JSA also recently invested in Tenchijin, uh, this is a five years old Earth image, uh, image, imagery analysis provider. So they, they are saying to help find more opportunities set up uh, support early stage businesses. The operator said it has started collaborating with uh, Space Tide Foundation to support Accela, the uh, Japanese non profit acceleration program in Japan tailored for space startups. So, so this is uh, mentioned the two names right here, IQPS, the QPS uh, labs, that, that what we call. So it has a significant growth uh, over the next six months, actually, after uh, it's got an IPO, uh, I think, like around one year ago. And the first one year, it was kind of stable a little bit, but then like after the government started uh, saying they're gonna support their uh, programs and also they got some fundings and it's suddenly really grow like around ten, five times already in the capital so this is one of the very uh, promising and government supported like uh, uh, companies so it's uh, quite got a, got a good attention right now and uh, and also one thing to mention is this uh, IQPS is located in Kyushu, which is the south island of the part of the Japan. So that part uh, is kind of growing about like IT and the spaceport in Oita, which is like the east part of the, the island. And also it got a bunch of like investment from TSMC to, to, to do some like uh, a, a semiconductor uh, manufacturing. So they selected one of the, the factory place uh, located in Japan, the Kyushu area. So, and also the Google, Mercury, that kind of branches over there. So it got some, something going on. It's close to Korea, close to China, close to other South, Southeast Asian like countries. Like you can take a ferry or you can take ship. 
uh, airport is very convenient, that kind of stuff, and the food is nice, that kind of things. So yeah, that part, that like place is quite growing, and with kind of like space startup, it's 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 accelerating that kind of growth in that area. So you can check it out. Also, the Tenji Jin is a relatively newer uh, company. Uh, the startup is also doing the analysis of the image from the uh, from the satellite. So this is not like a satellite ma uh, manufacturer. However, it's gonna like get that image from this uh, kind of companies and use that like a make an application or like. Yeah, that kind of like um, doing application and stuff. So this uh, startup is also very, very um, interesting. So you can check it out later. So to come back to the SpaceX, uh, they just launched the, the Falcon 9 for the uh, Eutel set six, uh, 36D. Uh, on Saturday, uh, just, uh, Eastern Time, 5.51 PM, uh, March 30th, uh, Falcon 9 launched uh, uh, a Yotel that a 3060 mission to geos geosynchronous transfer orbit from Launch Complex 39, uh, Launch Complex 69 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Uh, this was Chop's launch of the first stage booster supporting this mission, which previously launched CRS uh, cargo mission 26, OneWeb launch uh, 16, Intelsat uh, IS 40E, O3B and power of zone three and six Starlink missions. Okay, so congrats for SpaceX, as usual. And there is another uh, launch is going on right right now. I think it's already launched. So let's a little bit like uh, um, uh, take a look. Okay, so it's currently like this. Oh, it's already separation is done. Uh, T plus four four minutes. So let me go. Can I go back a little bit or? I oh, probably can't. Uh, this is a live stream. So, but anyway, it's already uh, separation is done. Um, and the fairing is uh, open. And then now, like, going to the entry for the orbit. Oh, here the booster is waiting for the landing. I think T plus 8. Both something. vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Nominal trajectory. So T plus eight around that uh it's gonna the booster is gonna land on the I think the port and sequel uh second engine cutoff is gonna be waiting. So I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna uh continue right here. So this is the end of the this is the end of the daily space today. So like this in the daily space uh the commentator, me, Ken Morrow, is uh, broadcasting and uh, some of the news about the space business and the technologies every day. So if you like it, please uh, subscribe the, this channel or hit uh, hit the good like button. Also, like if you have anything, like please just uh, leave it in the comment section below. So thank you for watching and see you see you tomorrow. Bye bye.